The history of American manufacturing is a story of breakthroughs, the development of new manufacturing methods, new technologies, and new materials that have grown industry, created jobs, expanded economic opportunities, and established the nation as an industrial world leader. The future of American manufacturing depends on even bigger science and technological breakthroughs. One of the most promising is additive manufacturing. Also known as 3D printing, the technology has the potential not only to revolutionize the way we design, build, and market products, but to revitalize American manufacturing and reestablish its global leadership. Here at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory, researchers and industry partners are making headway in improving additive manufacturing machines and materials. They're also sharing their resources and expertise with regional high school students to help prepare the next generation of engineers for the next generation of manufacturing. What we're trying to do is take a lot of the basic science that the lab has in both characterization and materials and help usher it into this additive manufacturing area so that we can really get this technology out and get it to where we're at reliable manufacturing. The aerospace industry is, is extremely interested in this, as is the automotive industry. So the opportunities are, are, are just exploding for making very lightweight, low-cost components. The excitement around additive manufacturing and its possibilities for the future is easy to understand. The technology builds components directly from a computer model, which allows for more creativity, complexity, and customization in product designs. Material is only used where it's needed, meaning a reduction in a component's weight and cost. There's also little waste generated, and some materials can be recycled. What's more, the ability to design anywhere, build anywhere, reduces the carbon footprint of manufacturing and transport. All of that makes additive manufacturing the kind of clean energy manufacturing in which the U.S. Department of Energy encourages exploration and investment. At the DOE's manufacturing demonstration facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, large and small companies alike take advantage of state-of-the-art facilities to explore the uses of 3D printing for new product lines. Researchers are experimenting with feedstock materials such as powdered titanium, stainless steel alloys, carbon fiber reinforced polymer materials, and other plastics that achieve the strength and robustness of aluminum. The lab's expertise in materials science, neutron scattering, and high-performance computing is also being employed to assure that parts meet the required mechanical properties for their specific applications. There's large issues with residual stress, uh, for example, in some of the additive manufacturing technologies. So we're actually doing work to utilize the Vulcan beamline to understand residual stress in the process and then how do we eliminate and mitigate residual stress so you'd be able to then implement these uh, components into the actual end product. Much of the quality assurance work is done in collaboration with equipment providers such as Arcam on the metal side and Stratasys on the plastic side. Both are developing systems for in-process inspection and closed loop control to increase their machine's precision and speed and ensure consistent, high-quality products, especially as their size increases. So as we're looking at increasing the size of our components, uh, we're looking at actually getting outside of the oven. What happens now if you're not constrained by, a, by an oven? What happens if you can deposit in, at room temperature? And so then that becomes unbounded in the, num in the size of the components that you can make. Already the aerospace industry is on board with the idea. Large-scale, out-of-the-oven additive manufacturing has been added to the MDF's capabilities and testing is underway. Use of the technology could help to significantly lighten the weight of vehicles and aircraft, as much as 50% lighter, which could have a tremendous impact on fuel costs and fuel emissions. There are a lot of technical challenges that we need to address in order to uh, actually make it happen. but. I don't think any of those are insurmountable, and I think uh, Oak Ridge will play a key part in helping that move forward. 
To the DOE's advanced manufacturing office, it's the kind of success story that demonstrates a genuine return on its investment in the nation's economic future. To the next generation of engineers, it's the kind of breakthroughs that helps to secure the future of American manufacturing.